Lap after lap, Melissa Stockwell churns, ignoring fatigue. But her physical sacrifice is nothing new. For her country, Stockwell lost a leg in Baghdad. We went under the underpass and big explosion, big boom. In April 2004, Lieutenant Stockwell was on routine patrol. An IED ripped through her Army Humvee. Blood poured inside, from right? one leg. It didn't register that it was gone. Um, so I said, I'm hurt. I think something happened to my leg. Four years later, something wondrous has happened to her life. As a swimmer, she's one of the first two Iraq vets to make the U.S. Paralympic team. The other, Scott Winkler. Ah! There we go. A medal favorite in the shot put. Ah. Five years ago, he had a freak accident in Iraq. He fell off an ammo truck, his body grotesquely twisted, paralyzed below his chest. On his own front lawn, Winkler practices. The shot put became his therapy, physical and mental. Neighbors think you're crazy? Hmm. They're right with it. They're okay with it. I mean, they'll hear her screaming and yelling, and they'll come out. It's like, oh, never mind. He's throwing again. Six months after his very first throw, he set a world record. I look at it as like, this is my battlefield. This is where I do my battle because it's competition. And I'm there to win. Melissa Stockwell's success is just as improbable. After her amputation, she discovered swimming and a new mission outlined on her new leg, yeah, we were both Beijing face, Gold. Immediately, I knew I wanted to try for it. When Melissa started training here in January, she was a long shot just to make the team. By April, she had set the new American Paralympic record in the 400 freestyle. She was on her way to Beijing. If you're gonna go for it, you might as well go for it and give it all you got. Yeah, I cannot let my country down. I will not let my country down. In Beijing, Stockwell will compete in three swimming events. And these new combat buddies will cheer each other on. And the way she goes, I mean, it's like a, she swims like a dolphin, I mean, quick. I think I'll be extra proud when I hear how he does, just, I guess just know, I mean, we're kind of, we come from the same place. And they ended up in the same place, wearing their country's uniform again with medals in sight. Mark Strassman, CBS News, Colorado Springs, Colorado.